welcome to my weird shaped living room. Hey, it's my first house tour. Well, it's not the whole house, it's just the living room. I finally got my living room looking really good and I'm gonna show you the worst part first is my coat rack. <laughs> yeah, I have to figure out what to do about all this, but this was um, in the house when I moved in and it's quite cute. All right, we're gonna move along to, I got uh, just a couple plants in here and this is one of them. I got this um, pot from a thrift store and put one of my ivy plants in there and it fits in pretty nicely and hopefully it'll grow and be really pretty. Um, most of this stuff is stuff from thrift stores and stuff that was uh, given to me, handed down. Um, this is my little art wall. Here, I'll back up a little bit more. And uh, a lot of this is all art that I did years ago. And uh, my guitar. And over here, um, this is a hutch that I got for free on the side of the road. And I just decorated it today for Halloween. Uh, Kitty is obsessed with this, so I don't know how long this is going to last. But um, I got this hutch on the side of the road, I popped out the glass, I took the door off, and I took the um, doors off the cabinet part on the sides as well. So Evan can have some books and stuff in there that he can play with. Um, these drawers, I think I'll have something in the top drawer, and then the rest of the drawers are empty. So it's a lot more storage here, and I've had this here basically from the beginning of moving in in December, and it's... The end of September now, so um, I've been pretty good about not getting too cluttered here. Um, I want to paint this thing white so that it will blend in with the wall a little bit more and be more like um, look like it's part of the apartment uh, instead of a piece of furniture. But for now, looks pretty good. Got it for free. Can't complain. Um, over here, uh, this was from one of my textbooks. Uh, and the jacket of the book was torn, so I cut out this print and put it over the light socket. That's kind of a cute little idea, right? And then over here, oh, look at this. This is not my decorating, but this is just really cool. Um, I love the stone. I love a lot of things about this apartment. Um, over here, this is a picture of me and my son. Uh, it's a little dark and hard to see, but cute. And uh, this is Evan's area. So this is pretty open so that he can kind of make a mess and have plenty of space to play. And uh, this is his toy box. So he's got a bunch of toys in here. And then my dad found this on the side of the road. I don't love it, but you know, it's good for him. And he can put books and toys and stuff on it. Just gives me a place to throw stuff. And then uh, over here, got some toys in a bucket. So over here to the more grown-up area of the living room, right here, this is kind of the main sitting area, and uh, per usual for American households, the focal point is the TV, right there. Um, so yeah, that's embarrassing, but whatever. Um, so this is a rocking chair I got at a thrift store, and um, I might get rid of this because Evan isn't a baby anymore and I don't really need to rock him on it. but. It's kind of cute. It matches the love seat. Um, this love seat I got from a hand-me-down from a friend. Uh, I don't know where these pillows came from, but I um, shampooed it and it pulls out to a bed, like a little twin bed, so that's kind of nice. This lamp and the lamp shade I got at a thrift store, as well as this table. It has a little drawer here, it's still empty, but um, yeah, it's a little antique looking because whoever had it before really beat it up. I might paint this someday. I kind of want to see it white or gray or black. Um, I'm not sure, but for now, looks pretty cute and just looks, I don't know, shabby chic. And this apartment is uh, in a building that was built in the 1700s, so this is my heater. Um, it's not running right now. That's why everything's so close to it, um, but when... I start using the heater, I'm going to rearrange my living room. 
Um, so yeah, this, this building was built in the 1700s, so everything's crooked, everything's old. Um, this is a little trick that I use. If you take your cords and save the twist ties from bread and whatnot, you can organize your cords a little bit better. So did that here, I did that here, so that you don't have cords running all over the place and it's easy to change it up. This is the back of my TV area, and even here, see, we did the cords. So it really helps a lot. I recently did a big overhaul in this living room and only spent about $20 because I bought an extension cord and I bought um, some of those cord tacks that you put into the floor to keep your cords wrangled and I got some picture framing uh, kits. I mean, not picture framing, picture hanging kits. So TV was a hand-me-down. This was a gift for my parents and this came from a thrift store. So over here is a closet. We're not opening that. That's just uh, clutter and decorations for Christmas. So this is the piece. This is, this is the living room and uh, this is the best part of like the whole house. And there's a lot of really cool things about this house. Um, and uh, this was once a functional fireplace. There's a little bread baking. Can you see that? It's so dark. A little bread baking thing here. Um, and I use it to store like pots and you know, gardening kind of stuff or houseplant kind of stuff. Over here is another little cubby. Where are we? Right here. And I have an incense burner here. And in this cubby, I just keep empty for Kitty to go and chill or Evan to go and chill in. Um, got a little, ooh, I almost knocked my TV over. Uh, got a little broom here that I got around Christmas last year and hung it near the, near the fireplace. And I just kind of, I kind of like it. It goes. Um, this is a space heater and it does like look like a flame. I don't use the heat element because it's not very efficient, but I do put the flame part on sometimes just to make it look like there's a fire in here. I got this plant for free uh, from like a free what, buy nothing Facebook page for my town. And this pot was from a friend who uh, just wanted to declutter a little bit. So this looks very nice. This canvas is uh, one that I prepped to paint on, and um, I haven't done that yet, but for now, it's acting as a screen for this ugliness right here, which is the flu, which isn't hooked up anymore. Uh, the screen was here when I moved in, and I just left it here. Um, I figured it provides like a nice little place for Kitty to go. She wants to go chill out. And then on the mantle, I have these are plates from um, a printmaking class that I took in college. These are etchings, so you use like a press, you put ink in it, and you use a press and you can make uh, prints from it. Um, and I thought these would just be kind of nice. They were in a box and I was decluttering and didn't want to throw these away. I spent a lot of money on these plates here. Um, this is actually from Evan's Candyland game. Whoops. And uh, <laughs> and those are like where you punch out the cards. And I thought they were kind of interesting looking, so I just have them up here. Uh, eventually I'll get rid of them, because they're starting to collapse on themselves. It's just cheap paper. And uh, so that's, that's my kind of grown up part of the living room. All right, I have low ceilings too. I don't know if you noticed that. And a door, Evan's in the other room. Um, this shelf was, I don't know, repurposed from a million different things, and I painted it, and these are little baskets to hold, like, Evan's shoes, his little sweatshirts. Um, I think I got these at Dollar General, or, I don't know, who knows where I got those. I got them when I moved in, and I put a little keyboard, his keyboard here, so he can come and play it when he wants, up here. My sister gave me this when I moved in. And I hung it right here, and it's just one of those little display shelf things. And I just have some everyday objects in here, and also some um, decorative things here. So, like, I got this little plant, and Evan's sunglasses, a little clock, a little starfish. I don't know where this came from, but I had it. Um, I got 
Evan's Lightning McQueen. I keep it up here so that it doesn't um, get lost and we take it down and play with it. Uh, this is just a little painting and a little flute. Some of Evan's toys. He's not playing with them right now, so I like to put his toys on display. I think they're really interesting, and I'll, I'll take them down and change them out periodically. And this is like a little instrument, and this is sage from when I saged my house because it's an old-ass house, and uh, I bet there's ghosts. <laughs> um, up top, this is something my mom gave me. It's really booby-licious. And this is a painting my sister did of my grandmother's house. And over here is a mirror. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really pretty. Um, I got this at a tag sale years ago. All right, over here is a spider plant. It's planted in one of those David's Tea containers. I got this for free on that Facebook group as well and used up the tea and then I made it into a little planter. And I have another one that I haven't drank all the tea yet. And when I do, I will do a little video on how you can do this. It's really pretty. And David's tea comes in a lot of like really pretty containers. Um, even if you don't like tea, you could probably get it, uh, these containers at a thrift store, because I've seen them. Um, and then down here, this has been a bench. This has been a TV stand. This has been a coffee table, but right now it's a bench. So it's right by the door when you come in. I have some shoes underneath. These I'm not really using just yet, but we're getting on that time of year where I'm wearing my boots and stuff. And then over here is a mat that a very good friend of mine got for me, and that was purchased new. So pretty much everything here um, that you see is like a hand-me-down or from a thrift store. So, or artwork that I made myself. Um, <laughs> this over here, I don't think I talked about what's here, but this is my Halloween decorations. <laughs> my dad brought this over yesterday. I don't know where he got it. My mom probably got it at the dollar store or something. And so I put it up. Evan calls him Ghost Guy. And, um, and then I went to one of the local farm stands and just picked up a bunch of edible uh, squash. So this will be fine in here for even a couple of months. It will be fine. Um, but I'll eat these as I feel like it. So I got some acorn squash. I think this is Cinderella squash. That's what he said. A couple of sugar pumpkins and some butternut squash. And, uh, it looks really cute and it's just, you know, stuff that I can use and one piece of decoration that serves no other purpose. This is going to go in the closet at the end of the year. But um, I don't like to go crazy with decorations, but I do like to decorate. These colored lights are obviously from Christmas, but uh, I think, I don't know, Christmas lights are pretty all year round. And then over here, I just took some things I already had to make more of a Halloween display. So I have um, this cat painting. I thought that might be kind of Halloween-like. And then two scary books, Animal Farm, George Orwell, if it's really scary, I think. And some of the... Uh, Great short works of Edgar Allan Poe. I didn't put it on display because the cover is gone. And then over here, um, I just have this journal someone gave me. There's nothing in it yet, but it has a cool finish. It's cork. And then, does anyone remember this book? <laughs> yeah, this is a great book with really great illustrations. And uh, of course I'm gonna put it on display. So. That's my Halloween decorations. Enjoy them because my kitty is obsessed with them. And they're probably going to get destroyed real soon. So anyways, uh, I filmed this on my phone. Let me know if you like these filmed on my phone. Um, the quality is not as good, but it's a lot quicker and a lot easier for me to move around and film. And then um, also, if you haven't uh, checked it out, you should go check out my Instagram page. It's Nancy Plants. Um, I will link it down below if I remember to. And uh, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, my God, I, my eyes look so weird because I'm looking at myself and not the camera. Here, I'm looking at the camera. Subscribe, please. Just do that. It'd be really cool. You could give me a solid.